Hey yo, sup, how is everybody doing today? We're gonna do a special video, it's gonna be a little bit longer than the usual unboxing videos because today we're gonna do an um, overview, review, mini review of the Blue Radius shock mount which I got yesterday in the mail but I didn't make an unboxing because yesterday was a pretty intense uh, horrible day and I didn't feel like recording anything. This is the Blue Radius 3, it's the third revision of this shock mount here. And we're gonna do a couple of tests. We're gonna do some tests with the shock mount, without the shock mount, and right now I'm waiting for the delivery of the big boy, the Rod PSA1, which is the title of this video, unboxing of the Rod PSA1. Right now, as I'm recording this part of the video, I'm still waiting for the delivery of that. So I I take the opportunity to make a quick recording of this uh, while it's still mounted on the older previous desk stand that I've been using for the past couple of years now. Now, I'm, I'm rather new to the world of shock mounts and professional uh, equipment, but I want to improve myself, my quality, my streams, videos and everything. So I am finally, after seven years, they've been using this Blue Yeti wrong. I basically want to get better. And yes, I'm gonna be doing this a little bit because I, I don't have the clip for this, so I have to handle it for the moment, but it still does its job. Anyways, a shock mount is a device that pre basically prevents vibrations to hit the microphone, as much as I understand. Uh, basically, it should make a difference when uh, you move the, the microphone up and down or on a stand, and uh, that should basically make uh, overall less noise when you move the microphone around, when you shackle it. Now, if I grab the microphone and shackle it directly like this, Technically, it should be basically almost the same because it's still isolated through the elastic bands of the shock mount. I think you guys can see it here. So uh, basically, without the shock mount, all of these movements that I just did would have made a lot of noise. And so that's why we are here today, because we're gonna do some tests whether you need a shock mount or not. So I wanna do some comparisons with and without the shock mount, because I couldn't find a lot of videos of this on YouTube. I looked up stuff like a shock mount versus uh, without shock mount comparisons, I couldn't find almost anything, so I, I want to make a video of what it actually uh, sounds like to have a shock mount or to not have a shock mount. So it's gonna be basically a double video. <laughs> the first part of the video, however, I would like to, it to be the unboxing. So with the magic of video editing, let's get the unboxing of the Rod PSA1 started. Let's go. Okay, so it's finally the time it has arrived right now, the ROD PSA1, let's do this unboxing. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, I am recording the audio with the Blue Yeti using the shock mount that you just saw in the introduction on the video and the old desk stand here. Let me show you guys. I'm recording right now with this. So. Without any further ado, let's start. So I hope I can put the microphone back where it was. Well, kind of. Anyways, let's do this unboxing because now stuff is gonna change. I'm finally gonna have a proper boom arm for the first time ever. All right, so let's start the unboxing with the nice handy, handy knife. Let's start by cutting the sides of this box over here and over here, oh yes, so satisfying. And if, if you guys are new to Elia 1995 unboxings, if you haven't seen my Italian unboxings on my older channel, <laughs> you may not know that unboxings here are always kinda crazy because I like to destroy 
packages. Add this. There we go. Yes. Ultimate unboxing destruction power. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna stop. L let's proceed doing this unboxing how we're supposed. So this is a box in a box. Box section. We don't need this anymore. Let's throw it away. Nice. I wish you guys could see the landing of that box. Anyways, this is the actual box of the Rod PSA1. I haven't unboxed anything this big in quite a while. Actually, I think this is my biggest unboxing so far. Anyways, let's push this out of here. There we go. Just like that. I hope you guys can see, yes you can. And over here we have another box inside of this white box. That's a box in a box in a box. Oh! It's not even an actual box, it's like this is the arm itself. We're gonna see it in a moment. But before that we have another thing here. This is the screw to adapt it to any other different uh, screw for the shock mounts and microphones. Don't lose this, it's very important. And here we have the clamp in the bubble wrap. We're gonna unwrap this and pop the bubble wrap very quickly. Listen to this. Yeah, awesome. I just love bubble wrap. Please bubble wrap my entire life. There we go. I managed to get the clamp out of here. This is the clamp. It's actually pretty heavy, I must say, considering to the small clamp of the crappy 20 euros uh, boom arm I bought uh, some weeks ago and I immediately refunded and I didn't even make a video of it but I, I I got it and it was horrible so this one is a proper one it's a proper heavier rod as you can see here it's upside down rod clamp and here we have some uh, nice rubber pad so it doesn't uh, scratch the desk and it should also add extra friction to it so it should stay better on the desk it's nice and uh, wide, so it should technically fit pretty much any desk. We're gonna install this in a moment, but before that, let's see if we have any other surprises in the white box. All right, we have a small white box that probably contains the other mount. Yes, it is. This is the other different chromed mount. This one here requires you to actually drill a hole in your desk and you screw it in basically and that's that's not the com most convenient one a lot of people basically ignore this one I don't say just go and throw it in the garbage but who knows you might need it if you have a glass desk of course you should not even consider using it but if you have a wooden desk and you want to have like a permanent setup well just go ahead and drill a hole in your desk and use this one instead it's gonna be more stable than the clamp for sure but the, the clamp is more mobile we can say anything else yes there is the instruction manual on how to set up your road psa1 as you can see here we have some very important steps let's see so step one and two Put the clamp on your desk. Step three, screw it in. And step four, avoid using... Oh, so my desk, here's the problem, you can see here. Let me zoom in. My desk is rounded like this. So I hope it's not gonna be a big problem. However, if I can slide the clamp in enough, it should technically fit. My older desk that I had a lot of years ago, it was nice and straight like, like this, it was great, whatever. My next one is gonna be a proper desk again, but for now I hope that I can fit this clamp on this desk. If 
I can't, however, I have a plan B. I thought of everything. Uh, we're gonna use a glass coffee table and that's gonna basically be the table I am gonna put this clamp on. I'm gonna put it here because this part of the desk here is actually retractable. You can close this in and uh, the table gets smaller. Anyways, enough talking and rambling. This is the one that requires drilling. So we're gonna put this back in here. Now let's unbox the boom arm himself. You just uh, unwrap this and take it out of here. And uh, caution, spring loaded. So the way to do this, you basically hold this nice and tight like this and you just cut this paper. Okay. And now you can, there we go. Okay, so this is supposed to be one meter or something. It's actually pretty small, it's not like super huge, but it can actually reach a very nice uh, extension. And you basically put this arm in here, like this, and you get a nice 360 rotation freedom from the clamp. Like you can uh, extend it even more and you can retract it even more. Now, with the weight of my Blue Yeti and the shock mount, I'm probably gonna have to give these three screws here a quarter of a turn, as I saw in a video of a guy that reviewed this boom arm with the Blue Yeti and the Blue Radiash, Radiash? And the Blue Radius 3 shock mount. So we're gonna do that as well. Now, let's get to the installation part of the boom arm. Okay, so my idea is to install this clamp on the extension part of the table because here there is like a wall part right here. This is too short. Well, this here extends a little bit more so I can technically slide this in a little bit further and avoid having this like tilted towards here. Okay, so let's unscrew this and let's slide this in. Video editor Alien 95 here. Sorry for interrupting the video like this, but the whole installation of the boom arm took more than 20 minutes alone and frankly, some shots are even bad. So for the sake of time and uh, not to add a super long and boring sequence to the video, we're just gonna skip right past the whole setup. In short, you clamp the clamp to the side of your desk and you slide the boom arm in. Then you screw the microphone or the shock mount to the thread at the end of the arm and uh, if it's too lightweight and the boom arm goes back up when you push it down, you can adjust the tension of the springs by turning the three screws that are on the hinges of the boom arm using a flat screwdriver. Anyways, let's check out the test of the Blue Yeti on the Rode PSA1 without and with the Blue Radius 3 shock mount to compare how it sounds like with and without a shock mount. And right now I have the Blue Yeti mounted on the Rode PSA1. We just unboxed and installed on the desk. I haven't done the cable management yet because right now I just mounted the Blue Yeti alone without a shock mount and I'm recording this audio from the Blue Yeti as well. And that's because I wanna show you guys the difference with and without the shock mount. Now, without the shock mount, if I move the arm and if I of course move it even more and for example get the microphone here closer to my mouth, right in front of my mouth for example like this, let's say I want it like that and let's say I want the microphone to be like this for example, of course it doesn't stay very well because I have to tighten these screws here. So as you can notice, when I touch the microphone, touch the arm and bump on the desk, there is a lot of uh, extra noise, extra 
vibration that goes into the microphone and makes extra noise. And if I use the pop filter like this and talk to the microphone, it's also gonna be a lot louder than with the shock mount because of that extra vibration and makes the audio even clip. And by the way, no, I don't have the gain uh, too high. I had it like uh, less than a quarter in, but if I use it uh, on zero gain like this, like I normally use it, if I touch the road PSA one and move it like this, there should be some kind of a noise. I don't hear it right now, but I'm confident looking at the waveform that there is some noise. Now we're gonna install the shock mount and we're gonna mount the Blue Yeti on the shock mount and we're gonna see if there is any difference with, uh, with the shock mount in terms of uh, noise when I move the microphone like this. So we can finally say whether or not the shock mount actually does something and what it actually does. So let's get to it. Okay, so we are now back on uh, the cameras built in microphone and here I just detached this microphone from the, from the USB cable and I'm just gonna unscrew this from here, hopefully, and we're gonna attach the shock mount to this, so I'm gonna put this down in a moment. Now the shock mount, we're gonna have a closer look at this now. Okay, so this here is the blue radius 3, as you can see, it's basically made of two circles, we can call them circles. There is this outer ring and this inner ring held in place by all of these elastic strings over here, all over the place. It says over here on the back of the box, Radius 3 is a vintage style suspension mount designed to isolate uh, Yeti and Yeti Pro USB microphones from noise, shock and ambient vibration. Radius 3 features a new streamlined lighter weight design, perfect for on-camera streaming. Custom designed for the Yeti and Yeti Pro microphones, Radius 3 also works with virtually any microphone that has a standard thread mount and is compatible with standard microphone stands. So basically, you can attach pretty much any microphone on this shock mount here. It's a universal shock mount. As long as the microphone has this kind of, of thread, let's put this in here and then put the Yeti on top of it and screw it right in. And now we have a blue Yeti on a shock mount. Now we're gonna attach this to this. And to do that, we're gonna need this screw adapter once again to go over here. Okay, so now we're gonna screw this over here. Turn it around like this and it should screw in, I guess. I haven't ever seen this part in any YouTube video so far, so <laughs> that's gonna be a first, maybe. Look how professional this looks, this looks great. So now I can basically grab this from the shop on itself and adjust it where I want to eat. And look at that, the weight is also decent now. Even with the, the shock mount, I don't have to adjust the screws anymore. I can basically put this in any position I want. And the cool feature about this is that it doesn't have to necessarily be horizontal like that. You can also have it uh, facing, for example, uh, up or down. I can have it, for example, uh, facing up like this. And the cool thing about this, this 360 degrees rotation is that it can basically be pointed anywhere. And that's awesome because now I can easily move it over here, I can move it away. And when I want to do VR streams or VR videos, for example, or other videos and I need a microphone, I can just grab the arm like this and just move it over here, for example. And look at that. I can get it even closer to where I do my VR stuff. I hope you guys can see that because, yeah, you can actually. It's a very good camera angle. And it can face up like this, or it can also face it down. Yeah, like that. And you can have, for example, even upside down, I think. 
the possibilities are endless with, with this arm apparently. But now enough talking because I want to see how this shock mount actually isolates the vibrations from the desk and from the arm itself because we just made an audio without the shock mount but let's see if the shock mounts make a difference when they are installed on arms or you know even desk stands like these heavy ones I have here so let's get to it so here we are now I have the Rod PSA1 boom arm and the shock mount installed on the Blue Yeti as well I mean the Blue Yeti on the shock mount and I'm now moving the arm just like I did before and up and down like this I can of course adjust the you know the rotation of uh, sorry I accidentally uh, accidentally unplugged the microphone doing that so I can also adjust the the rotation of it I'm not gonna exaggerate again because it's gonna unplug the microphone otherwise but you can see guys this boom arm is nice and very well built you can even uh, it down like this and it's gonna stay just in place and it's super cool i i don't know how i'm gonna use this most of the time probably gonna be like uh, somewhere around here or something and uh, i'm also gonna have this pop filter on it like this pop 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 and by the way guys i've been moving this arm quite a bit now let me also check the gain okay it's nice so let's move this arm like uh, around like this and let's see knocking on the keyboard and desk if there is any difference from the non shock mounted um, audio so hopefully the shock mount does something I don't know we'll find out soon and I'm also gonna gonna put some uh, clips in comparison of the movements I notice some noise indeed, but uh, not as much as before on the waveform. So this was the unboxing and uh, the comparison with and without shock mount of the Rod PSA1 boom arm, which from now on is gonna be the boom arm I'll be using for my Twitch streams and uh, all of the other content i'm gonna use this boom arm to just place the microphone wherever i want wherever i need it and of course with this boom arm i'm gonna be able to use the microphone properly even when i do my vr streams i won't have to put the microphone on the floor in omnidirectional anymore i can keep it in cardio and just rotate the arm towards the vr area and uh, it should work nicely you know what Actually, let's do a test. Let's gonna pretend that I'm gonna go in VR and I'm gonna stay there where I do the VR stuff and I'm gonna just rotate the boom arm and let's see how it sounds. Okay, so this is the area where I do the VR stuff and over here I have the Rod PSA1 boom arm. I don't know how I'm gonna put this yet when I do the VR stuff also because I'm kind of afraid I'm gonna knock it with the controllers but anyways probably I'm just gonna like uh, you know have it face over here and uh, face me from there something like this if I manage to find uh, a proper direction for it that's gonna work too and uh, of course I don't have to worry too much about the pop filter when I do the VR stuff because I won't be facing the microphone directly like this anyway so it's fine uh, but uh, yeah so this is what I should expect when I do VR stuff probably I'm gonna stay something like this somewhere around this maybe I'm gonna crank the gain up a little bit so you should hear me better yeah it's gonna be a little bit of work in progress but uh, 
this should work nicely and I am super happy about this because finally I have a decent boom arm I can use with my microphone and uh, I can pl place the microphone wherever I need it when I do unboxings I can just uh, have the microphone coming with me around the table and uh, yeah and when I go into desktop just gonna rotate it into place and have it facing here and have it on desktop position <laughs> but yeah with the rod psa1 arm or with any boom arm having a condenser microphone and be able to move the microphone where you need it is very convenient because now i can make other videos with the camera and this microphone easily i don't have to have the microphone standing over there on the desk in front of me i that that could also work of course but First of all, this looks a lot cooler on video, that looks a lot better, and second of all, this has the maximum mobility that you need depending on where you need it. Well, with this, you, you are basically limited to the surface you put it, it's very heavy too. You can extend this, you can make it this longer, that's sure, but not as long uh, as that boob arm, pretty much. Yeah, it's, it's shorter and it doesn't have this flexibility that allows you to put it wherever you need it yeah boom arm beats this in any single way but this can be useful for other situations and with the with the shock mount all of these movements i'm doing with the microphone shouldn't even be noticeable or sh they should be heard a little bit but shouldn't be as loud as they would be without the shock mount. Holy shit! Okay, this is probably a blooper, or maybe not. Microphone is safe though. It's time to whip out the coffee table I was talking about at the, during the unboxing part of the video. Okay, so the rounded edges of my desk didn't allow me to clamp this arm correctly and it fell off. So I had to basically get the coffee table, which luckily I had with a nice, even, uh, thick enough, uh, well, not really, I had to use some cardboard pieces, but we're gonna check it out in a moment. Uh, the glass slate allowed me to clamp the boom arm on very nicely. The cardboard pieces aren't really noticeable at all, by the way, because you really have to look for them in order to see them. But they allow me to have that extra thickness that makes the boom arm stay clamped on that glass table nicely. And now it's more and steady and doesn't fall off easily. And as you can see here, it's very nice. The Rode PSA1 gives me that mobility I need for the microphone in order to reach my mouth. And I can put it like this, which is the side of my mouth, which is more comfortable. Or I can use it like this and have the microphone in front of my mouth, but this is more more uncomfortable because I have the microphone in front of my monitor. Another good option would be to have the microphone like this and maybe have it drop down a little bit more but I have to move this glass table maybe a little bit 
over here so I can get this more further down and this way I can actually have a nice microphone which is in front of my mouth but lower enough that doesn't cover my view of the monitor or however I have it like here in front of my desk and I have to stay more further away from the desk but the best option I found so far is to put it like this and have it side of my mouth but close enough to my mouth. I'm also gonna get a brand new pop filter because the one that you saw in the montage earlier isn't the best and it, it sucks because I had to fit it with the extra velcro thing here and it's horrible. I'm getting a new one soon by the way and that's gonna be a lot better. So yeah do I recommend the Rode PSA1? Absolutely. It's one of the best boom arms out there. It's quite old uh, these days, but uh, it really does its job. And it's also one of the cheapest, by the way, boom arms that does its job nicely. And uh, I highly recommend this one. It's a great arm if you want uh, some extra mobility for your microphone. Either it's a condenser microphone like this one, or a more dynamic one like the Shure SM. 7B for example, which is probably gonna be my next microphone anyway. And we also noticed that with a shock mount there is barely any noise at all. I mean, there is some noise but isn't as loud and uh, annoying as it is without the shock mount. For just 88 euros this boom arm is awesome. And as a conclusion to this video, Thank you very much for watching and if you like the video don't forget to like it and if you really like the content also subscribe, that also helps me with the channel really and there's gonna be a lot of new stuff coming in the near future and now I'm gonna enjoy this boom arm for my future streams and my upcoming voiceover works as well that's a nice addition to my studio so thank you very much for watching and if you made it this far you are awesome and I'll catch you guys on the next one BYE!